Hi families, hope you are all doing well. Welcome to Outdoor Fun video. Uh, so my name is Mace. I work at Early On Lemones Community Services. So today we are going to do three activities related to snow. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together, all together. What's the weather like today? Look, it's snowy, look, it's snowy, look, it's snowy, everyone. Catch a snowflake, catch a snowflake, catch a snowflake on your tongue. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. Down you fall upon the ground. Down you fall without a sound. Snowflake, snowflake in the sky. Love to watch you floating by. Song is about a snowman. I am a little snowman, short and fat. Here are my buttons, here is my hat. When the sun comes up, I cannot stay. Slowly I just melt away. All right, now I'm going to read you a book. This book is all about winter. Let's start. So the book title is Winter, written by Patricia Whitehouse. What is winter? Winter is a season. There are four seasons in a year. Winter, spring, summer, and fall. In most places, a new season brings new things to see and do. What is the weather like in winter? In most places, it is so cold in winter. There may be icy rain or snow. On other places, it stays warm, stays warm in winter. What do you wear in winter? In the winter, you wear clothes that keep you warm and nice. You wear hats and mittens outside. You may need boots and snow pants too. What can you feel in winter? You can feel the cold wind. You can feel wet snow. You can feel fuzzy sweaters. You can feel the heat of a warm fire. What can you see in winter? You can see smoke coming from chimneys. You can see your breath when you breathe out. You may see animals looking for food. Sometimes you see birds or squirrels. What can you smell in winter? You can smell smoke from the fireplace. You can smell the wood too. You can smell wet mittens drying. What can you hear in winter? You can hear snow hitting your window. You can hear icicles falling. You can hear snow crunch under your boots. You can hear snow shovels on sidewalks. What can you taste in winter? You can taste hot chocolate. It warms you up after you have been outside. You can taste warm soup. You can taste winter treats. What special things can you do in winter? You can make snow angels, flap your arms and move your legs. You can celebrate special winter holidays. New Year's Day and Valentine's Day are winter holidays. All right, this is the end of the story. Now we are going to have a little quiz. Which of these clothes do you wear in winter? Do you wear shorts, slippers, mittens, 
boots, jackets, hat and scarf. You got it. That's right. Let's start our first activity, painting the snow by using spray bottles. So what we need for this activity, we will need food coloring. You can use uh, green, uh, purple, uh, red, or the primary colors, uh, blue, red, and yellow. And we will need uh, water and a jug, and we will need a spray bottle. So how we will use it? So pick uh, uh, out a spray bottle and fill it with uh, a little bit water like this a little bit water and then you can uh, add a few drops of food coloring to the water and mix them like this and now we are going to mix them Then go outside and spray the snow with the colored water to create a masterpiece. And all you can do, spray the snow and have fun. So I have here a few color, colors prepared already. It's really nice. Like this. And I have other colors. And the last one I have, see how nice and bright it is. So all the kids need are their spray bottles and their creativity and imagination. So uh, you can show them how to press the spray bottle and they can test even the colors, how to mix two colors, two primary colors. For example, I have here red, red color, and I have here a blue color. So if they put these two colors over each other on the snow, this is two primary colors, they will create a purple. So red and the blue, they can create another color, purple. So now what I'm going to draw, and you will see what I'm going to do for you. A nice heart for you! Here we go! So the second activity is sensory bin with the snow, uh, snow that we painted already. Uh, so this activity, uh, it's just the snow, the, paint, uh, the, the one that we paint and uh, I just added some letters to this uh, snow and added some cars just to make it more fun and you can uh, take this bin inside the home indoor and uh, you can ask your child to play and also your child can uh, make like a scavenger hunt game for example you ask your child can you get me a letter N for example, and your child will show you letter N. You can put also numbers, whatever you have at home. Enjoy. Okay, the third activity everyone knows, uh, building a snowman, but with natural materials. What natural materials we will need? We will need some pine cone leaves. We can uh, use also the pine cone and we can use some sticks and some rocks. All right, so simply we'll just put the rocks uh, as ice here. And instead of using a, instead of using a carrot, maybe you can use the pine cone as a nose. And the stick, you can use it as a mouth. And here, the pine cones can use a, a pine cone sleeves, you can use it as a hair, like this. 